Hello everybody, this is Jacob Jordan here from ChasingCinema.com. Today taking a blast of the past as we talk about the 1982 Poltergeist. Um, obviously we are talking about this movie because tomorrow the reboot slash remake will be hitting theaters everywhere in America and I want to talk about why Poltergeist means so much to me. Uh, it, it, it's, it's power as a film, a classic horror film from the 80s. And um, I just want to kind of reflect on that, especially because a lot of people who are going to see the new Poltergeist film never seen the original Poltergeist. So I really just kind of want to talk about that. Uh, the film was brought to us by writer-producer Steven Spielberg and directed by a man named Toby Hooper. Um, this story pretty much follows a haunted house scenario with a family known as the Freelings. Um, one of the, 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 the young daughter of the Freelings um, starts being able to see people in the TV, she says, and, and pronounces their arrival with their here, a very, very quotable movie quote, <clears throat> very, very quotable movie quote, a very, very popular movie quote, um, very famous movie quote. Eventually, Carol Ann Freeling, uh, played by Heather O'Rourke, uh, would be taken from her room and brought into another dimension in which her parents will have to go back or go in and get her out. Um, Heather O'Rourke played the young Carol Ann, and her father was played by Craig T. Nelson, uh, play, who played Steve uh, Freeling, and Joe Beth Williams, who played her mother, Diane Freeling. And this is kind of the main focus of the film. Um, also, we cannot forget the incredible casting of, of a woman who unfortunately, uh, not, not too recently, but recently passed away, uh, who played Tangina, and that is Zelda Rubenstein. Uh, a very important uh, actress in horror film and thrillers. Uh, a great actress, really gives this movie its full effect. Um, it was nominated for three Academy Awards, though did not win any, and that was Best Score, um, which is what, what is now known as Best Sound Editing and Best Visual Effects. Um, this movie really hit home. Well, I guess because it's a movie, no, I don't want to say hit home, but it was a movie that I remember being a part of my childhood. This is a film that I remember watching a lot as a kid, watching a lot while I was growing up. Definitely a staple in my household. They're here, and Carol Ann and the Freelings were referenced a lot in my household. Just because maybe it was one of the VHSs that we owned that we just watched over and over again. But it was a movie that did mean a lot to me growing up, and um, still holds a lot of... Uh, fond memories to. Um, you know, the great thing about Poltergeist is, is it explored this world where um, these poltergeists knew what you were afraid of. They were able to access this. Obviously, which what this new film, the new remake reboot is kind of focusing on is the clown which terrified Carol Ann's brother. Um, that was uh, basically this wooden kind of doll that her brother kept and just eventually came alive and in the original film it was a terrifying sequence horribly awful terrifying uh, for those who are afraid of clowns or dolls which is a mix of both um, but a very not as big as a part as everything else where this film seems to be really pushing the clown uh, for the new poltergeist film so uh, this is a movie that I really care about. Uh, the reason why I wanted to make a video about it is because I'm, I'm fear that not many people have seen this original film, and I really recommend that you should go out and take the time to watch it because it is a movie that holds up. Granted, it might not be the greatest special effects, which it once was. I mean, Roger Ebert um, really kind of emphasized that the, the effects of this movie were its highlight. Obviously, it was nominated for an Academy Award, though I don't think it is the most one of those films that really kind of hold up as far as its effects. I still watch it, still in love with it, still impressed. Um, because it's just well directed, it really kind of focuses on the family unit, really talks about, you know, obviously we kind of, uh, a theme that isn't new at this point, even in 1982, of, you know, going to help your family and, and, and the fact that family and love and that bond is able to kind of overcome everything as, um, Diane Freeling enters another dimension to go get Carol Ann. Um, and uh, Zelda, uh, our, who plays Tangina in the film, Tangina says, let's go get your daughter. And that scene where, you know, they're getting ready to go. Uh, but overall, we, this movie teaches us the lesson to A, never build your house over an Indian burial ground. 
<laughs> um, and B, of course, you know, trust the ones you love, believe the ones that you love, and family is the strongest thing that you could possibly have. Uh, a great movie, a very creepy story, a movie that still holds up, a movie that I really, really care about. Um, there are some really, really great sequences in this movie, um, and one of the most classic horror films, I think, um, of the 80s, and maybe of all time. Let me know how you feel about the original Poltergeist, and tune in tomorrow as I review the new Poltergeist film. Let me know down here in the comment section what you think. Uh, of course, I always appreciate it if you like and favorite this video to show your support. Make this conversation more intimate if you follow me and Chasing Cinema social media stuff down here in the description box below. But above all, please make sure you hit that subscribe button because each day we are constantly talking about the world of motion picture, movie news, casting details, rumors, set photos, um, movie reviews, giveaways, all that stuff is available here on our YouTube channel. I update it five times a day with what's going on in the world of motion picture. Today we talked about the rumor that, yes, big, big rumor, because I want to emphasize rumor, that Matthew McConaughey is being eyed to play Norman, Eyes, Norman Osborn in the upcoming Spider-Man film, i.e. the Green Goblin, and as well as we talked about more photos leaked from the set of Captain America Civil War. So make sure to go tune all those videos out. Go check out the one I did about Matthew McConaughey. Um, and the Captain America Civil Wars. Hit that subscribe button. Guys, thank you so much. Tune in tomorrow to watch my review for um, The Poltergeist uh, here on the YouTube channel. Go to ChasingCinema.com to read my review of The Poltergeist movie tonight. Uh, it'll be available. Go check it out. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Jacob Toronto. Please continue Chasing Cinema.